What's up? Welcome back, fam. Thank you for joining me today. As promised in my last video, which you are seeing a preview of here now, today we are going to be focused on some detailed dishwashing. As I mentioned, this is a preview of my last video. Please go check it out. It is all about cleaning before vacation. I actually just got back from vacation. I went to Denver, had a great time, and this is kind of where we left off. You know, I was doing off the counters getting all that debris on the floor and then here just organizing and separating all of the dishes so as I mentioned in my last video I feel as if everybody gets to a point where they need to have this sort of dishwashing session as you see I have pots and pans with food on it and when you have pots and some pans that have residue of food you will have a distinct smell okay the smell is not something that you want so this dishwashing session is going to be a deep clean dishwashing session session and you will see some products that I use in a little bit but before we get into it any further I just want to say thank you for clicking on this video hello if you are new and hello to the fam who've been here since day one and if you have not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button honey and join the MDD family So here I'm just taking out food that has fallen in the sink. And let me tell you, I'm gonna be straight up. Washing dishes is one of my least favorite things to do. It kind of grosses me out to dig food out of the sink, okay? It does. But as you see, I put some bleach in and I put some dish washing liquid. Now, I utilize bleach when I'm going to do a deep clean, really when it comes to anything in the house, but definitely when I do dishes. It's not only going to clean your dishes well, but it's going to leave a nice fresh scent afterwards. Whenever I deep clean my dishes, I definitely love to soak them and just to ease up that residue off of the pots, pans, plates, and silverware. Now, the Ajax that I use is specifically made for degreasing. So if I were you, honey, I would go pick some up because it is amazing when it comes to really getting your dishes nice and clean. I utilize both halves of my sink so as you see I am cleaning this side of the sink putting some bleach in there and preparing it because I am going to wash my dishes put them on this side of the sink and then I'll rinse them afterwards so as I mentioned it's pretty detailed and I like to do this because it definitely speeds up the process I'm using a couple of utensils to clean. I am using your regular cleaning bristle pad. And then I'm also using a handheld, I would say dish brush. <laughs> That's how I would describe it. It definitely gets into a lot of those cooking utensils that have those grooves, as well as getting those tough areas off of your pots and pans. And I also like to take some water and let it sit in my pots too. Those two pots over to my left are both soaking as we speak, okay? I love for my dishes to soak. I just think it makes the process easy. Now when I took these dishes out of the sink, they were completely clean. If you kind of scroll back in the beginning, you'll see those plates were completely dirty. So just them so soaking for that little time, it wiped off all of the food. Watching how clean this pot got was so satisfying. So let's slow it down and watch it again. Now 
Now this is definitely for those who love to hand wash dishes. I do have a dishwasher and I try not to utilize it too much because I believe there's no better cleaning of dishes than the ones that you can do with your hands, okay? This dish was something else to clean, okay? I had to let it sit and soak because honey, it just didn't wanna do right, okay? So now I'm washing my silverware. Now when I wash my silverware, I like to wash it, rinse it, and put it up. Simply because it's just easy. I already have my utensil tray in the drawer and it's just easy to clean and put those in there. Now this particular knife, I have to clean it off immediately because it is stainless steel and you know if you let stainless steel sit up, honey, it will rust and I don't have time for that, okay? I believe I mentioned this previously, but I am a person who pays a lot of details really to anything but specifically to my dishes. I'm a person where if I get a plate and see something on it, I'm just like, wow, really? So I look at all of my dishware before I even use it. So that just tells you how I am, okay? Um, now I'm just cleaning off the countertops and really just scrubbing any type of buildup that's on there. Now I'm going to spray my countertops. And now I'm also spraying my cabinets. If you did watch my last video, I mentioned what I'm using to wipe off my cabinets. So definitely check that video out, you guys. It's super motivational. And I love to wipe my counters off and then wipe them clean with a dry hand towel. You guys know my love for hand towels, okay? I love hand towels. So now I'm just taking this natural fiber cloth and I'm wiping off my cabinets. Now I love this cloth. I've mentioned it plenty of times in my cleaning videos and it just does a really good deep clean in general. trying to clean the stove honey the stove gets so dirty oh my goodness but I just used some of that water and cleaned it off and gave it a nice scrub and then I'm actually going to be using a glass top stove cleaner this is my first time using it and it did a pretty good shine not sure of the clean um, it was definitely challenging to clean this off we definitely need to do a little bit more deep cleaning on the stove but i mean overall the end result was you know nice i just paid close attention to the details and you know there's still some things we need to work on when it comes to this stove top but overall it ended up looking really pretty See, me picking at what didn't come off. Now I'm just laying out those towels because it is time to rinse these dishes, honey, and get them to drying. I do like to air dry my dishes and sometimes I put them in the dishwasher. It just depends on how I'm feeling. But yes, when you hand wash dishes, it's all about the stacking, honey, how you stack and how you organize and fit your dishes. I gotta make sure I stack all my dishes very well so that they all get an equal dry.
still item this is a cup and i have to dry that off immediately or it will rust and then i'll be sad because it's the two ready Now I'm just putting everything away. Cleaning up this side of the counter and just getting that all nice and clean. Now I'm spraying this stainless steel spray. Now I did just get this, so this is kind of my first time utilizing some stainless steel spray. And I don't know, the uh, fridge really didn't clean as well as I thought it would. Maybe I'm not cleaning with the right thing, I don't know. I mean, it looks good, but I don't know. So I have to try it out again and just, you know, maybe I need to do something different. Now, it cleaned the stove very, 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 very well. So I don't know what it was. Maybe it's just the refrigerator is utilized a little bit more. So I don't know, honey, but we're gonna figure it out. Now I'm just finishing up and sweeping everything that I brushed on the floor in the beginning of the video. So here is the completed look, you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this more detailed video, just focusing on washing dishes and just cleaning up the kitchen. I'm so glad I was able to get this clean before I went on vacation. And I cannot wait to bring you guys more clean video. And leave a comment so we can have a chit chat. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the MDD family. Like and share this video with your friends, your family, and your associates. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.